Well, right now we are joined by a familiar face here at Coin6 to get some insight on the governor, longtime anchor Mike Donahue, who retired a couple of years ago. Thanks for joining us, Mike. You're welcome. Appreciate that. Now, you knew the governor and even traveled with him to the Middle East about 30 years ago. What was he like? He was a strong man. Um, I say that in terms of character, but still he was uh, compassionate. He was a kind, very kind man. Um, my daughter and I saw him just about uh, six weeks ago or so. He was charging through Washington Square, always on that fast pace, very deliberate man. And I caught up with him and I said, are you exercising, Governor? He said, no, I'm going to buy a pair of slippers. That's the way he was, a very focused kind of guy, got, got the job done. Now, as far uh, as his politics, he was the last Republican governor elected in Oregon back in 1979. How was he able to get the vote? He uh, appealed across the board, I think, and he was willing, as many politicians today do not seem to be, to reach across and, and meet with, a, with the other party. I don't want to say the other party. He was a Republican, a very conservative man, no question about that. But I think he'll always be remembered for that. I mean, short sleeves, those big, hairy arms, reaching across the aisle and shaking hands and with the pro proposal or the idea that someone else had and working out a, a solution because he knew Oregon was faced with economic tragedy if they didn't come up with something. He was considered a mainstream Republican. Could he be elected today in Oregon? I think so because I, I believe there are a lot of people who want to have a, I'm not saying he's a moderate, he was conservative, but in some cases where it was required, he would be that moderate, that compromiser. I think he could be, yeah. Oregon's always elected people uh, who have a, an open mind, and I think that would be a, a characteristic of his that will last for a long time. Okay, thanks so much. Mike Donahue joining us this afternoon. Pleasure to meet you, sir. You're welcome. Nice to meet you, Mike. Stay with Coin6 for more coverage of the passing of Governor Atia, both today at 4 and online at coin.com.